Hello, I'm Greg Giddens from This Is Xbox, and I'm here to show you just what the new backwards compatibility looks like on the console. Now, if you're part of the preview program, you should already have the update. Now, checking my console info, I can see the last update I got was on the 14th. And the patch notes for this update read something along the lines of tweaks to the system to prepare for new features. And it would seem as though these new features are the backwards compatibility. So double check that you've had an update on or around that date. And if you're part of the preview program, you should be ready to go. So what I'm doing now is popping in the Mass Effect disc for the Xbox 360. And we'll see what the uh, console thinks of it. Okay, so it's popped up with an update, over 7 gigs, so that's downloading the game right now, and there you can see in the icon the Mass Effect Xbox 360 artwork, and it's installing. Now, as of yet, the digital titles, which are supposed to appear in your download queue, have yet to pop up in mine, so this might be something that doesn't roll out until later in the year, perhaps even as late as when it rolls out to everyone in the fall. So for now, all we have, or all I have to test this system with, is the Mass Effect game. So we've just got to wait for it to install. So I'll speak to you again once that's done. So after it's installed, you can start it up. And when you first start it up, it has to do an initialization where it downloads your gamer profile from your Xbox 360. And depending on the size of that profile and all the DRM that it needs to check, it's going to take, well, for me, it took 15, 20 minutes. It will differ for everyone. So let me fast forward through all of that. It eventually finished, and now the game's loading up. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay so you get an idea of uh, what all that looks like and see how it runs. Well, what about Shepherd, now, as you can see, there's some noise in the visuals, and I've tried everything to get rid of it. I've tried messing around in the settings on the console, I've tried different HDMI cables, and I've tried just playing with the settings on the TV, but nothing will eliminate that noise entirely. There are things you can do, little tricks that can smooth it out a little bit, like turning the sharpness down will smooth a lot of that. Um, if you have a digital noise removal on your TV, activating that and putting it on high will also help. But chances are you've got your TV set up how you like it, and it's running well with Xbox One already. So I get why you wouldn't necessarily want to change any settings just to smooth it out. I did compare it with the 360, and I'll show you that footage now. And as you can see, it's much smoother on the Xbox 360. So that's a shame. This is clearly a problem with how the Xbox One renders the older 360 games, this could be something that is fixed in the coming months. We may have to wait until it rolls out in full. When it rolls out to everyone, we might then have this fix for this visual oddity. But you never know, we might get lucky and see a patch sooner. And when Windows 10 rolls out, you never know, that might fix the problem as well. So, we will see. Now, I had an idea, a cunning plan, if you will. So I logged on to my 360, went over to my save file for Mass Effect, 
and transferred my save files onto the cloud, which is where the Xbox One gathers save data. Then I tried loading those saves up in Mass Effect, and well, I'll show you what happened. Before I get to show you the save problem, I have another problem for you. We've heard reports that once you put a 360 game in, that it will download the game and you will no longer need the disc. But clearly that is not the case. But hey ho, not too bad. This might be a problem that's fixed in the future, or it might just be one of those minor things that we have to deal with, keeping 360 discs around still. So as you can see, it didn't load up because of missing DLC. So these games, once they're downloaded onto Xbox One, so far it seems, are just the vanilla version of the game. So that's disappointing. And that's backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. At the moment there's a handful of games, which uh, I will list for you on the post where this video pops up on the This Is Xbox site. At the moment we've only tried Mass Effect and results are good, if not perfect, thanks to the noise and the visuals and the DLC problems and the save file transfer problems. But these are things that might get worked out or it might be something we just have to deal with. And either way it's not too bad for the privilege to play the older games now on the Xbox One console. 